All right, guys, let's take a look at some examples here of the, of the limit definition of the derivative. So I've got fx equals x squared plus 2, and we'll find f prime. So we're going to use the limit definition. So what we're going to need to do, the limit definition, remember, is um, the limit as delta x approaches 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. Okay? So we have to first do is find f of delta x. So we're going to go x plus, we're going to put an x plus delta x anywhere we see an x in our function. Plus 2 minus our function over delta x. And then the hardest part about this part, guys, is simplify. Now, just we got to put our limit here every time or else we're not using good math notation so we get x squared when i when i foil this out remember this is foil you get 2x delta x plus delta x squared this is its own guy so i'm going to do that plus 2 minus x squared plus 2 don't forget to distribute your negative all right oops this was a plus so that makes it a minus over delta x. So now we, your twos are gone, x squareds are gone, and we're left with the limit as delta x approaches zero of two x plus or two x delta x plus delta x squared over delta x. Now, if you did the, this right, you're going to find that the delta x is going to simplify out in some way. So right here on the top, we're going to factor out a delta x. We're going to have 2x plus delta x over delta x. And notice here we got to factor that out. So we're going to have the limit as delta x approaches 0 of 2x plus delta x. And then when we plug in 0 in there, we're going to be left with 2x. And that's our answer. All right, so that's how we find the derivative using that limit definition. Use your answer in part A to find f prime of negative 3. So all I'm going to do is plug in negative 3 right there. So f prime of negative 3 is going to be 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6. All right, so if I wanted to find the uh, slope of the tangent line, there we go. There's the slope of the tangent line at x equals negative 3. All right, let's take a look at the next example, number 2. Find y prime. So the limit as delta x approaches 0 of square root of x plus h minus square root of x over h. We're going to go ahead and use the h formula this time just to give you a different flavor. So that looks like this. Limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus 8 f of x over h so just something a little different here all right so limit as h approaches zero and what we have to do here is we have to multiply by the what we call the conjugate here so we're going to multiply the top and the bottom let me use red here so you can see what i'm doing square root of x plus h plus square root of x times square root of x plus h plus root x so every time we have a square root we're going to normally have to do this multiplying by conjugate guy. All right, that's going to give us, um, we're going to multiply these two together, and we're going to get x plus h, and then the middle term is actually going to drop out, minus x over h times root x plus h plus root x. And that's going to give us the limit as h approaches 0, x is drop out, Notice I have an h here, so that's going to drop out too. It's going to give me 1 over root x plus h plus root x. Okay, so now we can plug in 0 in for h, and notice that we're, all we're going to have is square root of x plus square root of x, which is going to be 1 over 2 root x. And that's our answer. All right? Okay, let's do one more example here. I need to go to the next page. Uh, given y equals f of t equals 2 over t, find the derivative of y with respect to t. So now we're doing dy dt. All right, guys? We're still going to use a limit. I'm going to still use the, the h one, just again for a different flavor. h approaches 0 of f of x plus h. So we're going to go 2 over t plus h 
minus f of x, in this case it's t, over h. Now whenever we have this guy, where we have fractions, we're going to need to um, find a common denominator. So what I'm going to do is, um, let's see, I think the easiest way to do this is to multiply the top and the bottom by t plus h times t. Okay, that's the common denominator, so i got to multiply this in here times these two. All right, so what's that going to look like? Limit as h approaches 0. Um, the t plus h's are going to cancel out for this one and give me 2t, 2t fruity. The t is going to cancel with this one and it's going to give me 2t plus h. And then here I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep this guy a just like this, and I'll show you why in just a second. Limit as h approaches 0 of 2t minus, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to distribute this guy, minus 2h over h times t plus h times t, which is going to give me the limit as h approaches 0. Now notice those two t's cancel out, and I have a negative 2h. Now I can get rid of those h's, and I'm going to end up with negative 2 over t plus h times t. And now I can go ahead and plug in 0 in for h, and I'm going to end up with negative 2 over t squared as my answer there, all right? So there are some examples of using the limit definition of the derivative. In the next video, I'll go over some an alternate form that we can use very quickly.